All right. Hey, Collective. How y'all doing out there this morning? It's 4.44 in the morning where I'm at. <laughs> now, I don't know why I can't sleep. I, I mean, I was, I fell asleep, woke up. I can't go back to sleep. Now, I only think I was asleep for about five minutes. And now I feel like I'm wide awake. 4440. 444 in the morning. New moon in Cancer. So I said, let me go figure out what the uh, collective is releasing for this new moon. Since I can't sleep. Now, I was doing a uh, pre shuffle. And the Necro Manager came out. Fear and Failure in the Cursed Castle. Now, this is what you're letting go of. Now, I didn't know what a Necro Manager was, so I had to go look that up. And this is somebody that uh, wants to control the soul. And that's willing to destroy anything that does not want to conform. And I clarified it. And it was clarified by surrender. And that's on both ends of the spectrum, boo. They know they can't stop you, baby. They out here casting spells and all that good jazz. But it's a done daughter. Because we going into a new phase. But I'm going to do it all over again. <laughs> now, when I first seen the card, I didn't. I thought it said something else. I said, "What does that say?" Not Necro, but you know, <laughs> what a G. I was like, "No." <laughs> Maybe I was half asleep. Okay, now let me see. You got the toad. Now this says personal growth, transformations, and letting go. No. Oh. I love it, spirit. Look at that little frog, the little turd, the little turd, little toad. And look, don't they look just alike? <laughs> oh my god, I just love it. The fox. Now he been showing up a lot in the car. She letting that go. Enigma, adaptability, and shape shifting. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, give us two more spirit. Now, y'all forgive me. Now, this card came out again. This card came out with the first set. The demon. Temptation of living in, fe in fear and regret. Dancing among the ashes of the flames of hell. Now, I don't think this one came out. It wasn't this one. It looked like the same dude, though. But you're letting it go, boo. Fear. The fear, regret, pretty much the same thing the other one was saying. That's why I thought it was the same. And self doubt. This is what you're letting go of. I love it. Yeah, like you're facing things head on because this is avoidance. In the dance of the shadows, I conceal and evade. Fear's veil keeps me dismantled in the dark, cool shade. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, okay. The person is a poet, y'all. But let's see. Now, yeah, you about to go on some type of an adventure with this personal growth, transformation, and letting go. Oh, and five, 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 the ten. Five, five, five. Five, five. 
And the number 22 is showing up. Now, I told you that your intuition is popping. Now, it's so crazy that this is here because when I was sleeping, had trying to go back to sleep, downloads came to my mind. Now, it made me, I was first thinking about that story I told y'all in regards to the shark. Now, it's so crazy because I know AI is listening to us because as soon as I finished that reading, I went to go back in my room and look at TV, YouTube, and here come a video in regards to sharks. <laughs> now, the movie, the video was current. I think it was actually uh, posted today. I looked at the date of it. Now, it do look like it's something going on with the sharks in the water. So, y'all be careful out there. I remember, I forget what year it was, but it was so many people out there in the water getting bit. Because I'm from Florida. They even had t-shirts. <laughs> I haven't been bitten yet. <laughs> There's something going on in the water, y'all. Be careful. But anyway, I was talking about the download. The Spirit said you get downloads all day long. The information that you don't... Uh, think that you're consuming, you're consuming so much. And maybe somebody was trying to figure out when the download was actually coming from spirit. I think that's what somebody got on their mind. I think you'll just distinctively know. And you have pride. I think that was another card that came. Well, oh, and these cards. Yeah. The aim, the demon. That's just like your devil. That's like some type of ego death. Right here, lined up with fear. The temptation of living. The fear of regret. Dancing among the ashes. Among the flames of hell. Yeah. That's an ending. You see the one in the nine? That transition and new beginning, which is also a 10. You could be seeing 10, 10. Yeah. Here we got communication with the number 33. Now we're seeing 22, 33, and 55. And I said I started the reading at 444. Masters, my darling, that's what you are. And it's now 7... Minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. On a timer. Abundance. Now we're going to take this one. And you have Surrender. And you have healing. Now, both of these cards came out in the pre shuffle. And um, I think it was love and partnerships. And I did see that. And it lined it up with the ace. The moon came out, the ace. I think I had just got the those and I'm about to start all over. But anyway, self doubt. This is what you're surrendering. Right here in this new moon. And if you ain't, this is what you need to do. And we got a reflection. Even double clarification. And they got the same numbers. And the colors. With pride to surrender. Nineteen ninety one. Wow. 1991. I just heard that in somebody else's reading. I don't know what's going on in 1991 or what happened in 1991. But I just heard it in somebody else's reading and it's weird. It's really weird. Really weird, y'all. 
how we pick up on the same things that be creeping me out sometimes. And I don't think this person watched my channel. I don't think so. I don't know though. She got a pretty big following. And you got the Ten of Diamonds, which is the Ten of Pentacles in the book here on adventure. Yeah. Now this could be mentally, metaphorically, physically. But it's personal growth, transformation, and letting go. Now, anytime I see the book, it's all about secrets. And of course, my current subscribers, they already know what time it is. But I gotta say it for the new people, boo. Now, it do. I, I just love that this avoidance is here. And meeting these things head on, boo. Now, that was financial discipline. And it just, anytime I see financial discipline, it just really makes me think about your overall energy. Discipline in regards to the energy that you exude out into the world. Healthy boundaries. You know, understanding your worth. Now, I want to say that December also showed up. And, the, and it was so creepy because the person was talking about December, too. Now, I had been talking about December a couple of times a couple of months back. And I said, I know it sounds like a long ways off, but it'll be here before you know it. But something going on in December. Now, I've been getting October, August, October, November, and December. Now, I don't know. Maybe it's all those months. There's just going to be something uh, conjuring that's going to take place. A chain of events. I don't know. The whip. That's right. That's taking action. In regards to your um, self-doubt, pride, ego. The whip. And it's something in regards to those downloads is going to become clear to you. Because I know somebody got the question. How do you know what a download is? It's going to be odd. You're going to try to make sense of it. It's going to be that nag and something is up with that. It don't make no sense, but it makes sense. <laughs> something like that going on? I don't know. Yeah. This is the death card bringing in that new beginning, boo. The shit. Now we have to. Yeah, self doubt. Now somebody is allowing somebody back into their life. Now I'm not saying that this is old. I think that you're ready to, to, to get back out there in the world. Whether that be platonic friendships or not. Yeah, you're taking action. Baby steps, boo, baby steps. Alright? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is you. You got a lot of key information. You're facing these situations head on, boo. A lot of you guys are going to step up to the plate. You might even start platforms to share. If you don't got one. I say go for it. And it doesn't have to be a speaker. You can do whatever you want to do. I think it will give you some courage. And remember. Nobody's going to see it until you upload it. Boom. So you can do it over as many times as you want to. Now, I'm liking this. I'm liking it. 
It looks very good, boo. It looks very promising. And remember, I got your collective signs on the other channel. All you got to do is go to the description box right above it. And see what's going on in your personal signs. Maybe that's why I put them all up there. Now, of course, if it doesn't resonate, don't make it fit. But there go the tower coming in for your boo. So you can go on this adventure. Yeah. And that's that tower bringing in those downloads, those secrets. <laughs> Personal growth, transformation, and letting go. I love it. Showing up as the master. Wasn't that the first part? No, that was a lightning, wasn't it? Well, 444 is how I started out. Yeah, you're moving on up to the five, to the six, to the seven. And you're dedicated. Perseverance. Some of you guys may go back and finish something that you started. Pick back up. Mm -hmm. There you go, right there. They are the king. Tell me this ain't elevation. This is what you're moving into, boo. Security. Tell me that ain't elevation. That's also your security. Your ancestors is on the scene, boo. They cleaning it up, but yeah, the smoke has cleared for the little demon. The smoke has cleared. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Yeah, there is some good news in regards to this self doubt. Look like he letting that go. Something coming in that's gonna make you happy, and it could be a new person, a new job. I told you, you got something to do with gifts, and there you go. In regards to any self doubt, you got that love union between you and your uh, your other half, whether that be your masculine and feminine or somebody else. But I see it coming. Somebody coming towards you. But this how they coming, boo. Spiritually equipped. They got a lot of key information. You see what that say? A healer. Number 33. They ain't avoiding you no more. I want to pull some in this card. Let me get one more. They want to make an entrance. Let me see. Anything out of here, Spirit? Funnel. It says a period of frustrations, lesson to be learned. Okay. What's some lessons in this? 
And look who's showing up at the bottom of the deck. Your girl. The dolphin. That's what y'all call me, ain't it? This is what you're letting go. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. This is what you're letting go. You're surrendering that, boo. You're not letting that hold you back anymore. This is what you're letting go. Too much concern with sexual matters. You're cleaning that up, too. That pride is where the ego is. <laughs> Ooh, spirit got jokes. <laughs> That will be your lower half, boo. <laughs> now, right here is financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. <laughs> Big got to clean it that up. <laughs> you got the door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Yeah. This is what you, you're you letting go. The self-doubt in regards to doors opening for you. Surrendering to the process. Going with the flow. Letting things unfold. There we go. December is always still at the bottom of the deck. I don't know what's going on in December, y'all. Oct August, October, November, December. It's just going to be a chain of events. Now, maybe it's going to be something different for everybody in those months. Yeah, it looked like two people about to meet up, about to hook up. Look like. Look like two people about to hook up, boo. I think both of y'all in alignment, too. Standing your ground, moving forward. That's some type of door, and it's double doors, too, here. <laughs> because this does indicate a choice sometimes, but I think you got it. Got the world in your hand. You got the heart. I think it's coming in all love. When this new moon coming in, I want y'all to be visualizing it, what it is that you want. Just keep visualizing it, boo. Tell the moon what you want, baby. See it in your mind's eye. Star, I see you dreaming. And that's the tower right there on that seven of pentacles. Whatever you invest in, it's growing. It's being open to you. Right there with that book when the star is on the emperor. And whatever was paused is now taken off. You see it? You see it? The cars don't lie. That spirit bringing it in. Right there with the foe. And foe, foe is down here now. With the ace. And the ten. The king of pentacles is already down there. And that's what the moon bringing in. There go the moon. And there go the communication. And that deception is behind you. You see? 
your own mind. Because these people can't do nothing. It's only the fear of it happening is when it happens, okay? The mind brings it in. If you think people are after you, keep feeding it. That's what happens, all right? Know that your ancestors out there kicking their tail. That's what they're doing, all right? That will be what they be doing. I mean, I'm looking for something. Okay. It, look how he flew out. <laughs> Fear said it's really coming. <laughs> They're on the, on the King of Pentacles. It came out in the upright. It's really coming down. <laughs> it's lit. get the emperors out here. That would be nice, spirit. <laughs> it's justice and a celebration. That's pretty good. I, I'll take that. Our final two cards. It ain't the empress. But it's close enough. She's celibate, fellas. And I think it's up to you to make the choice, boo. If you want this new beginning, well, whoever this is that's coming, or whatever it is that's coming. I guess all you got to say is don't doubt yourself, because that's what it's on, self-doubt. And right here, it says opportunities are waiting for you. Those are some pretty nice doors. Double doors. Anytime I see double doors, that's a pretty big infrastructure. That's a nice layout. Look pretty good to me, boo. They look pretty good to me. I can't say nothing wrong with it. The emperor showing up as the star. Dedicated. That's who's coming down this road. <laughs> That's who's coming down. That's him. This is y'all meeting up. This is what this is on. Her. He ready to take that leap. up to you, Empress. What you gonna do, boo? Is your heel? Is your heel enough to take on it? Take it on? Let me see. Is it these spirit? No. I already know which ones it is. Where is, where is that? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, y'all. Where did I put the cards? I call myself cleaning it up over here. Got too many cards going on all over the place. Where did I put them at? Hold on, y'all. Alright, it was these I wanted to pull. They's gonna close it because they moon cards. <laughs> we ain't doing nothing. We ain't messing with the moon today. All right, 
what's going on with the toad over here? The toad, the frog, done turned into the prince. You see, he just, he, what is it? I just heard Ray J say, one kiss, one kiss. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Now this is telling you to focus on the positive. Now this says new moon is Sagittarius. Now it might happen, something might happen in the new moon in, in Sagittarius. I don't know. But listen, we ain't got to worry about that. Just focus on the positive. And we go after this adventure that you're about to take. Don't worry about the vultures. That's what Spirit is saying. In regards to this uh, anxiety that people are against you. Don't worry about that. We ain't got to worry about that. Boo. And matter of fact, if you see it read like that, that's if, you know, if it's, it's, if it's weighing on the psyche a little bit, it kind of passed those readings up. Now, I know it come out in the readings, but, you know, just put it on the back down. four cards. This is telling you to know that you are loved. Practice gratitude and cool your emotions. <laughs> now cool your emotions is on the rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. <laughs> and it will be in Aries. <laughs> well I know it ain't talking about me because listen. <laughs> That would be me. Okay. All right. Now, but somebody out there need to cool it. Yeah. yeah. This is just like a, uh, what they say, a HOE in church. <laughs> However, it could be in regards to anything else, but it don't necessarily have to be that. But, in, you know, letting the, um, Negative energy get the hold of you. Yeah, it can make you in a little bit of rage, but you're showing up. Now, Aries is down here. You're next to that tower, you know. You ain't got to retaliate. You know what I'm saying? Just know that you're going to move forward. I think pretty soon you're going to have something to be really happy for. Now, we got Sagittarius here, Aries, and Sagittarius again. Hmm. Now, maybe there's something going on with the Sagittarius and the Aries. And maybe the Aries feel uh, cornered by Sagittarius. Because it's on the outside of it like that right there. I don't know. And look at the uh, jacket that he got on with Cool Your Emotions. What's going on? Now, it could just be in regards to this rabbit, pride, ego. Somebody need to work on the shadow. But I don't know. I don't see it in the cards down here. I see it as something that's all good. However, his head is lit. But anyway, know that you're loved. Everything is working out in your favor. All right, boo. See you on the next one. Love you. Leave me a comment. Tell me if it resonates.